Hello everyone, this video tutorial introduces the search of Euclid data in the QSAR Toolbox web client. Web client is pre-installed with standalone QSAR Toolbox 4.6. Three components appear on your desktop with the installation, desktop client, server, and web suite. Launching the web suite icon brings up a new window with two possibilities, Toolbox web client and Toolbox web API. Details about web client could be seen the respective web client QSAR toolbox video tutorial. Click on the web client opens an internet browser with its interface. Searching the Euclid database functionality is available once you press the red button. On the left are possibilities to define your search with respect to the structure and experimental data while on the right part of the window is definition of the scope of your search. In search section you could specify how to search for your chemical, as a fragment which means to search for chemicals having this fragment in their structures or exact match which means to search for exactly defined structure. The other possibilities are the well-known search by chemical identification number, EC number, or by chemical name. In data section you could specify the data you want to search for. For possibilities could be specified, endpoint, type of information, adequacy of the study and reliability. There are drop-down menus with pick list options to choose for each of these sections. The first element of the scope section is the database in which we want to search. There are no imported custom Euclid databases that's why the only database that you see is the REACH database. This database comes with toolbox installation. Then you can define the type of substances you want to search, for example you may want to search for monoconstituent substances only. If you want you may search in datasets, dossiers, or both. The REACH database includes only dossiers. So it does not matter if dataset is selected or not. Finally in the section panel, you can specify which section of the dossier to be searched, for instance you may want to search in the representative substance or you may want to search in the composition info. For some of you who are not familiar with Euclid type of representation, it will be confusing to understand what is to search for, representative substance, or the composition. But we hope it should become clear after this demonstration. Now, let's start with the example. We will define the exact much of formaldehyde structure. This is possible by typing the smiles of formaldehyde, paste or draw by the respective functionality. In the section part we are selecting only, representative substance. This definition will search for the dossiers with formaldehyde as representative substance. By this definition we are obtaining only one hit. The result is the dossier of the formaldehyde where the formaldehyde is indeed the representative substance. If we search for the same structure, but instead of representative substance, we are selecting constituent, then more hits are found. As you see one of these hits is the dossier of the formaldehyde itself while the other dossiers are associated to different chemicals where actually the formaldehyde is one of the constituents. In the searched results the name of the dossier are presented as the links. If once click on the link then the dossier is opened in the dissemination website of the European Chemicals Agency. Formaldehyde appears as one of the constituents of the dossier. Similarly if we search for formaldehyde as an impurity, the next list of dossiers will be displayed. Another example in this demonstration is how to search for chemicals having phenol fragment in their impurity structure combined with acute oral toxicity data. Now let's demonstrate the example. For the purpose of defining the fragment, we need to select fragment and click on draw button. First, please erase the smiles of the formaldehyde. The phenol fragment can be drawn by using the template for benzene ring. Then click on the pencil icon to draw a single bond. Click once when the carbon atom is highlighted in green. Finally replace the carbon atom with oxygen. You could use the atoms from the left menu. Press OK button to confirm the structure. To restrict the search for impurities only, we need to select impurity option. Let's define the data. Under endpoint, click on the arrow, type acute, Open Acute Toxicity Level and select Acute Toxicity Oral. Let's be more restrictive and add some additional criteria for the metadata. Select Data to be Experimental Study, Key Study, and finally Reliability 1. Once ready press Search button. To verify the search click on the link of identified dossiers. 
Go on the bottom of the dossier and open the composition indicated with impurity. The phenolic fragment is available. Then go to the data sections. As seen in the administrative part each of the above mentioned fields met the requirements. Endpoint is acute toxicity, oral, type of information is experimental study, adequacy of study is key study and reliability is the highest possibility, reliability one without restrictions. Congratulations! Now you are familiar with the Euclid search in the web client. If you want to know more about Toolbox, watch the other video tutorials.